So now we're going to look at bulk email NetSuite Dunning. So bulk email NetSuite Dunning was built as a convenient way for NetSuite users to follow up with their customers on invoices. Now I'll be showing you two different aspects of the bulk email NetSuite Dunning today. One is the manual version, which is the screen that we are looking at right now. And the second is the automated version, which allows you to set up rules so that Dunning happens automatically within your account. Now, this screen right here is divided into a filter section and an action section and a results section. So let's dive in and look at filters first. You can choose all of these filters that are available right here. Uh, do note though that subsidiary only shows up in One World accounts. But say you want to view invoices only for a certain customer or you want to view all invoices from a certain date. So I'm going to do, let's say, 2021 to 2023 since this is a demo account. If you don't want to see any closed invoices, you can say only view open invoices. So once I select all of my filters, I click on search and it brings up all of the invoices that are open within that particular period of time. These columns don't all need to be displayed. This solution can be easily configured to switch out columns, but if I scroll to the right, you can see that there are several emails in this email to section. Now, where does this come from? So let me show you that first. We'll look at the customer. Now, NetSuite already allows you to send out invoices to whatever is the main email set on the customer record. However, with bulk email NetSuite Dunning, in addition to that email, there is a bulk email addresses field that will allow you to set any number of email addresses separated by a comma or a semicolon. So these are all of the emails that have to receive any invoices from this account. We can either set this up manually or you can import it into customer records. Once these are set, any invoices that are created for this customer will automatically have all of these bulk email addresses associated with them you can see all of the emails that were in that bulk email addresses field are also showing up right here. Now, this column right here, it sources from the invoice email to field. So you can review it, and if you want to send this particular invoice to an additional email address, you can add it right here as comma separated. Now, if you add an email here, note that this only persists for this session it does not update either the customer or an invoice if you make that change here. So you can say mark all, unmark all. You can choose to export all of these results. And say I have reviewed it and I want to send all of these invoices to my customers. Now that's where the actions section comes in. You can choose an email template right here. You can send a multi-attach email. So say you have 10 invoices open for a customer, instead of sending them 10 different emails, this checkbox will essentially send a single email, uh, but with 10 different attachments, one for each invoice. Now, this doesn't actually do any merging of transactions. It just attaches all the invoices to that single email. However, as a further customization, you can choose to also merge those attachments. So then even if there are 10 invoices open that you've selected, it will send a single email with a single PDF with all of those invoices attached to that one PDF. Both of those options are very useful if you have a large number of invoices open for customers and maybe they don't want to receive a very large number of emails from you. If you have a, a high volume customer, maybe they're missing some of your emails coming through. In a case like that, merging some of those emails, whether you actually merge the attachments or not, can be helpful. You can choose to include a customer statement of only open transactions, or you can choose to include a generic customer statement with everything in it. If you have a parent-child customer set up and only the parent wants to receive invoices for all of its child customers, you can select send to parent customer. Once you've selected all of this, you can click on process and it kicks off a batch job that sends out emails to all of those selected customers with all of the selected invoices and it will not allow anyone else from this account to use this screen until that batch is completed. So if you have multiple people following up on AR, 
it will only allow one person to use this at a time, so you can make sure that your customers don't receive multiple emails from multiple senders all at the same time. You can also view invoices that were emailed out. You can see the email attached to the messages on the invoice and on the customer. And that's about it for the manual version of bulk email NetSuite Dunning. So let's jump over real quick to the automated version next.